Hey, this is Tom, and in this week's video, we finish up the tap handles for Fainting Goat Brewery. All right, we're picking up where we left off. Uh, we needed to make the slots for the uh, the logos to go on the top. And uh, at first, I thought since this is wood and it's pretty soft, I could just do a full depth of cut uh, plunge and and uh, move over. But what I found is that I didn't have a good way to hold it. So what I effectively did, and I guess I didn't have it on video, but I did a series of plunge cuts, you know, just like uh, simple drilling holes uh, next to each other for all of those slots. Next up was an awful lot of sanding. Uh, just going over, you know, one side so you can see it here. But uh, you know, go through, clean it up, clean up the slots, get the tearing out, and get everything uh, prepped for final finish. All right. So my prototype showed me that uh, my order of operations here was important. Uh, it was much easier to go through on each one of these uh, handles and put the the chalkboard paint in first because I needed to get the uh, the paint in far enough to where it got all the way up to the edges and if I had already done the uh, the staining on there uh, it made it a whole lot more difficult to do so it was easier just to go ahead start with the chalkboard paint I, I put it on pretty heavy it was a cold evening and I, I knew it was gonna have time to flow plus uh, we were trying to keep that wood grain look in there so I for each one of these I went ahead and I did a heavy coat all the way up to the edges and then I went back afterwards uh, on each one and just put that straight, you know, top to bottom, uh, grainy uh, brush stroke in place, and it came out really nicely here. Uh, I don't; it's not something that you can really see in the video itself, but uh, it came out really well. And uh, after this, it was a, a lot of sitting around and watching the paint dry. So uh, each step of this required an additional day. All right, after all the sanding and everything was done, I went ahead and put a coat of tongue oil on, on these. And so, again, just to give it a little richer uh, color and to help match the interior decor of the brewery itself. Uh, plus, the tongue oil helps keep some of the moisture in the wood. So, it uh, gets in there, you gotta let it soak in. And again, you know, lots and lots of watching things dry. So, get that done, and we're all set. All right, once the tongue oil has had an opportunity to uh, fully cure, we went ahead and did the a uh, wipe on polyurethane. I really like this stuff. It goes on nice. It provides a good uh, um, a good feel, a good texture, but also uh, you know really helps to preserve the wood and protect it. Because remember, this is going to be in a in a uh, brewery. Um, so we went ahead and did this, and we, we did two coats on all of this just to uh, get it going. I may end up doing more on, on future batches, but uh, two coats seem to be a pretty good uh, coverage for these. Day 437 of the Fainting Goat Tap hand Handles build. Or it's the next day. Alright, so next step is to get these ferrules in place, and I was using the... Uh, Gorilla Glue, uh, and uh, went ahead, got these going. Things were going great, everything sliding in place, you know, it's locking in place, and then all of a sudden, I get to one where it just will not go in, and it made me take a look at the rest of these as well. Okay, so uh, that one that I was just pounding in, coming to find out, there are three of these that uh, I, for whatever reason, just didn't drill far enough down. So, uh, we're going to fix that real quick. Alright, so we uh, just do a little bit of hand drilling, make sure that we've got things to the right lengths here, and then from here, uh, everything glued in just fine. So, uh, the Gorilla Glue is great for uh, for doing this kind of thing, and just quick chase of the threads afterwards, after it had set up. Uh, from here, we switch over to the toppers, and I used uh, CA glue or super glue and I uh, went ahead and did that. I do that for most of them. There was one that was a little loose and because that Gorilla Glue expands, I switched back to the Gorilla Glue. But this is basically just, um, you know, the super glue, a couple of lines of super glue in there. I, I put the part in place and you'll see just a second here, I'll, uh, I'll switch back to the Gorilla Glue again for a second. But these just uh, went right in place and it worked out great. Well. 
I am both proud and relieved to have all these tap handles done for my friends over at Painting Go Brewery. Um, yeah, thanks again for everyone who has been following along. This has been a very long series, much, much longer than I had intended. But, uh, you know, I think these came out really nice. Um, you know, the chalkboard paint on there, they'll be able to, to just use some chalk and write in which uh, brew they have on tap at that time. Uh, nice, simple look meant to uh, match. I had a couple people ask why I used pine instead of hardwood. You know, they, they used a lot of pine in the, uh, in the building itself, uh, in the interior. So it should match the decor, should last a long time, and frankly, uh, I think it's time to get these things installed.